Hey everybody, Asher here, back with more Star Sector, and we are picking off exact, uh, picking up exactly where we left off last time. As I flew the wingless pigeon, uh, name submitted by Gustavo Santos. Sorry for not shouting that out last time, and actually did not die despite our twenty percent shield arc. Oh, this is this is this is fun. Anyway, uh, we are in a bit of a money crunch. I don't want to say a money problem. I'm sure, we have millions of credits of unpaid debt that we've been rolling over for a little while, but we know that that's coming because we are almost through with our custom production pinch. We have a stalker, uh, Nibis, the Elysium that I know Akra Choper is waiting sincerely for. And one reason I do want to go back down to the bottom right portion of the map is not just because we have some money down there in the banana stand waiting in a hundred thousand credits of pro domain error probe in a system that we have already visited so i can probably even look right on the map and see exactly where it is yes yes i can this is one of the ones that we visited actually no i don't think we ever went to this trash heap before i think we mostly focused over here so that's cool this was probably already on the map and didn't have to be regenerated Anyway, Manan Hold has been exploded, and um, we did collect that bounty. We're gonna be um, we're gonna be doing a little bit of living dangerously here because there's a bounty here, and it's in a system near a barren planet and a system with a dwarf star. Unfortunately, there's a billion dwarf stars in the Elgrad system, so I'm hoping these aren't all piled together. But you know this game enough to know that they all are um yeah i'd love to take on the pirate base too if it's feasible um but here's our fleet so far looking sharp looking good let's uh let's get back to flying first by can i not double tap this maybe i already did all right so desertic world i don't think we can survey it because we don't actually have the goods let's take a let's take a quick peek just to be just to see Oh, someone else is flying towards us too. That's uh, that's fun to miss it. All right, so desertic world. I'm pretty sure we don't have the resources to survey it. I wouldn't want to because it doesn't have the garbage floating around on the outside. It says that there's ruins there, so we can't because we don't actually have the uh, resources. It's cool. Let's get out of here. And how many dwarf stars can we pick out? Not a dwarf. Not a dwarf. So between one. That's a red giant. One, two, three. But didn't we do this last time where there's like Tragedy, Alpha Elgrand, and uh, New Marmara? I know Tragedy is where I'd go if I was looking for a place here. There's one unsurveyed planet. You know, yo, we can we can take this a step further, y'all. Let's use our previously surveying here. We know Alpha Elgrand can't do it because it has no planets. You have a barren world, so I imagine that's where all the bounties are. Um... I think I'm autopiloting on accident. I never use the autopilot. And then we do have a desertic world here. Irradiated, volcanic. There's a mining station. I think Old James, a jungle world, and an azure world. So, yep, they're all just piled around the one thing. Although, why isn't Old James colonized yet? This is a really good planet. Huh, interesting interesting eh, oh well this is this is another one of those systems that would have been really good to colonize had we been there and i got to move my water of course i had to stop take a stretch break get water and stuff like that before because i'm trying to trying to be healthy a little bit of a little bit of playing game and finding balance and stuff is ooh, what are you doing unidentified entity that is just tracking our pace I have a feeling I know what you are. I kind of want to go to New Marmara. But we're going to start here because we know there's two bounties there. And then we got another big shit here. It looks like somebody else is flying directly into it. You're engaged in a battle. We are going to skip that battle. I don't even know what you are. I don't even know what you are. I don't care. Peace out. Bye bye. Do 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 do. What I need to do is get back out the keyboard. Um, I know y'all haven't seen me play keyboard much. Maybe. I like streamed it once or twice. It's something that I need to get back into. Another one of those things where I have a bunch of personal projects that part of the reason that my brain was untethering a little bit is that I just haven't had a chance to uh, do some of the things that I want to do for myself. 
So that's that's how that goes. French jump points. How many how many bounties can we find in a row? How much can we screw ourselves this time? There's a remnant frigate. So we know that. You are patrolling. There's one bounty, that's the tiny bounty. So we can actually check the bounty board and see here. So we haven't discovered the location here. So that's a plus. We only have three days left here. Um, is Did I miss a dwarf planet somewhere? Because this should update. Anyway, we have... Um, that's easy. That's like ridiculously easy. There's only one barren planet here. Um, what? Okay, we're gonna we're gonna ping real quick. Man, if I missed out on the big money because Yep. I guess so. Because if I look out here again, I may have missed something. Alright, I thought I thought I was being so clever. Because there's no planets here at all. They're not navigating there. Game. Um, your Azure, Cryovolcanic, Azure, Jungle. Oh, damn it. There is a barren planet there. Ugh. All right, well. No way I'm getting there in two days. So let's take the little money. Let's send our little ships after them. Boop, boop. We're not going to recover any of that shit. So we didn't get the big money, and we're about to lose the time here on this one. I don't think I can get here in time. So that sucks. I did say I wanted to visit there anyway, so we're just going to visit and see if um would help if I got up here. Monthly expenses are bad. Ugh. See, here's the thing, is that someone's going to be like, I saw... I saw the whole time there was a barren world. How could you not see this? It's right there. So Lynx is what we want to jump into. Like, you know you know, we missed the bounty. Like, there's just a mining station, hostile dormant things. More patrolling hostile dormant things. Um... Your salvage crews find an old automated repair facility is missing a nanoforge to produce more specialized parts. So we intentionally did not break that down now. So there's a there's a good reason we left that up. All right. Well, that sucks. If I was a pirate base in this location, um, I guess let's check the red giant. I mean, we're already here and we are desperate for cash. Like, there's a bunch of shit down there. It doesn't do anybody. Doesn't do nobody any good because I can't read a map. And I gotta watch my fuel as well, so that's, um, that's extra fun. Wow, we're actually faster than that thing. Who knew? All right, so if I were a pirate base, there we go. It's got to be here. So we got some bounties that I absolutely can't do. And they're both located in the same area, so that's fun. I could do that one, but I have 11 days to do it. So we know the pirate base is here somewhere. Let's do the inner system jump point and hope for the best. All right, um, there we go. Makeshift com relay. Are you a pirate base? We clearly got pirates all over the place. There's a base. Just depends on the size of that fleet. Let's go dark for a second. Okay, I think we're I think we're okay. Preparing for patrol duty. Obviously none of them can see us right now. So we lose even more crew. Have we lost so much crew? Yeah, we are actually under our fleet capacity right here. So harvested organs, I hope you like them, because you're getting them. Um 
Let's buy 100 crew. We will, we will buy back the crew that we lost. I could try to buy some Marines as well, but this is not a, that's actually not a terrible price for Marines. So let's buy all these. Um, we don't really need you. That's a terrible thing to sell. Uh, rod MRM, I don't really need, I guess. Broadsword, definitely don't need that. You know what? We actually don't need any of these weapons, so have fun, pirates. Ship parts, take them. Transplatonics, I could definitely get a better price for that somewhere. So there we go. A little bit of money. I don't know why my crew keeps quitting on me. It's almost like they don't want to work without pay. But this is 70 defenses. Dockside bar. Unsanctioned bounty board. Cheerleading our staff. Uh, willing to help legitimate transport business operate efficiently in the fearsome engine system. Which is yellow, despite having a new star in it. I don't know. Oh, okay. Posted by the pirates against the Sindri and Dictats. <sighs> this is a no risk whatsoever thing. Assassination of the target to get the reward you'll need to disable the target's flagship. You know what? Let's accept the job. That's fun. Nondescript bounty person here. Um. What do you want me to do? Make, okay, spy set over to HMI, no thanks. Scarred spacer. I actually don't have 20,000 to transfer over to you, so that sucks. It's like, I'm sorry, you picked the, you picked the broke captain to a deuce with. You don't have any administrators for sale. We can't actually raid you because there's too many enemy fleets around. Ugh. I guess we're just going to engage. Let's make sure before we engage that this is actually the bounty here. Zan Empire. In this star system. Cool. And then we have another bounty that's ended. What have we accepted? We've accepted this over here. Cheerleading our staff. 90 days remaining to do something and um 46 57 days so we got to prioritize this first i don't really want to piss off the pirates though so you know what maybe if we go back into the core worlds first and we just i know a hundred thousand from the ludic church is really enticing but once we commit to going over here we really commit to going over here and someone will repost this bounty later so i think we try to do this and then work our way back over here to uh, get our staff because we have learned since the last time the pirates don't particularly hate us. They're not going to like this move here, but they should uh, game should recognize game. They should they should understand. So if we engage the orbital station and all of these things here, let's um fly fly all of our goodies and deploy. So we click that way this time, and everything's kind of normal. The Pidgeys on the left. We got we got a bunch of uh, other enemy fleet shit around this time, so it's not just a pirate station. I probably should do this fight a little bit differently, but we'll see. Like I said, one of the issues that we're going to have is that there's a shit ton of missiles coming in, so our glimmers are going to have their work cut out for them early. We got a bunch of drones. Tony Leapart's doing his best. Um, but yeah, we're we're okay. That's some that's some scary ass guns over here, though. All right, and suddenly the concern in my plan is that my my poor twenty percent arc shield is not too great, and we're gonna need to try to support. Our over-engaged AI friend here, who's actually about to like phase out into non-existence, so that's fun. Alright, so Project Kashmir! Go. Okay, I faded out of existence. That's um it's a little weird. Just a bit disconcerting. 
All right, so what's what's going on with this fight? Clearly, there's some shit afoot that I did not realize was happening. That's a that's got to be a something. All right, so meanwhile, this time this time we got a lot of shit going on. So let's try to move you guys over here. Maybe maybe you guys got this handled. It's a tumbleweed. Tumbleweed's pretty serious. We got chopping. We got the Norman or we got the Normandy doing stuff. We got backstreet. I think you guys are okay. I think the star skipper directly engaging here is the right move. I actually kind of like this split. As weird as it sounds, I think the AI is doing okay managing this. So let's turn off our wimpy shield. Like, who needs shields anyway? Kashmir! Oh, got him! Now, oh, what a, what a bad time to suddenly get in the space station's range. All right, fire! Fire the ship! Okay, apparently we're not firing. I have commanded my ship to fire, and we're not firing. All right, let's back this up. Clearly, clearly we are having some issues with keeping our weapons repaired. But at least we're drawing fire from the station, so that's a that's a plus. Okay, so the chickenator asks, "Is that all?" Insync is asking, "I'm a." They're saying I'm a person, so that's uh, that's fun. The nice thing about doing reinforced bulkheads is that I'm suddenly not having like all of the instantly dying from taking too much damage thing here. So there is um. Shop a man reports battle readiness declining soon. I know. I think we're just gonna re-engage the space station at this point. So let's help the totally not tier Morga here and uh, Kashmir. I guess I just have to hold the clicky for a second. And um, for some reason, we're fading in and out of existence when we fire that. Probably something I need to get checked out. Kent, who solos a space station anyway in a destroyer? That would be me. All right. And just like that. Okay. Um, there is the tumbleweed. I hope that's not one of ours. Um, I just fired into nothing. Whoa! Big explosion again. All right. Kashmir! You're gone. Look at that shit. Okay. So this is what happens when you take just a little bit of time to design your ships around actually not sucking. Okay, got a vent. So like I said, it's very simple. You just point and click and shoot. There we go. And I just hit a missile or something, so it's fine. Chickenator is overloaded. Um, that's fine, so... Yeah, we have, uh, we're doing all right as long as I don't accidentally hit. Oh, I'm so sorry, uh, Rock Forehead. That's not your name. I do need to change you at some point. All right. Wow. I'm sure we lost somebody, but we definitely get the losses. Definitely get did not get the losses I expected starting out here. So, hold on. Did we lose nobody? Am I actually, did I say that split was good and it actually was good? So, ship recovery, difficult recovery, none of these. None of these, maybe the enforcer, but no. Um, how much supplies do I have? Okay, I have, I have plenty of supplies. We need some for repairs. So the pirates don't like us a little bit, but they under, they don't like us, but they understand what we're doing. And they have all of these fun... Oh, God, all these fun weapons from when I had to sell stuff. So I really appreciate them building weapons for me. All right, we leveled up. Hooray! And um, battle against the pirates is fine. We got experience. We got not a lot of money. Not as much as I would have liked. So can I double tap you? No. Yes. Maybe I didn't wait long enough for the other space station, but it's fine. Okay, cool. So Twist of Canes repaired. We're we're moving on up. I want to see I want to see that combat data. Okay, Star Skipper. That's that is a lot more of what I was expecting. Wingless Pigeon also doing some serious work. So the Strix Kinetic Driver doing a lot of damage. Um, the Nexus Launcher is also being pretty good support. 
Unknown energy causing the EMP damage. I wonder if that's the missiles. Project Kashmir is pretty good. Uh, Remnant Graviton Beam, also pretty good. Unknown energy, fairly strong. Uh, electronic Donic, just shoving things around. Uh, 98 degrees, hence our boy bands coming in here. Chop a man trying to be a part of the boy band. My neighbor Pedro pinching some shit. Dejour making some stuff work. It's a, it's a good day to be in the fleet. All right, except for the space brick, which I, I told you before, I wasn't entirely convinced about those guns. So we'll have to see. Now we have a bunch of random crap over here. So let's see about our other bounties. I don't think we have other bounties right now. So I guess it's just, well, we're not doing that one. And we're not doing that one. And we're definitely not doing that one. So cheerleading our staff and the fearsome engine star system, partial fleet information is attached here. Five, uh, five other ships of lesser importance and a cassowary. We love the cassowary. So let's go visit our uh, star, our double star system. We made it ourselves. So ludic path sleeper cell, that's fun, I guess. It's fine. All the repairs are fine. We're going back to the core worlds. We don't need to be going dark anymore. I was kind of hoping to raid ahead of time, but Shadow Legends was not a thing. Oh, man, I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I should not joke about mobile games, especially ones that are omnipresent and appear in all kinds of advertisements everywhere you look all the time. And then next thing you know, there's a PC version as well. Were you chasing me? Returning to Zatopos with supplies, heavy machinery, armaments. Huh. Really? Well, I don't think I'm going to catch them because they're in the slipstream already, so. Maybe I will. Hello? Damn it! Kingdom of Terra! I can't actually attack you! Ugh! Jerks. I thought for sure this was going to be the time where I would have a very convenient bit of piracy. There's the alpha site. We're not going to play with that today. I'd rather I could this fleet could probably beat the fight that's there, but we're not we're not going to bother with that right now. Okay, new 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 new. That's already withdrawn. You guys are jerks. <sighs> okay. Um anyway, so we're going in here. Do we know like exact we don't know where the patrol fleet is. Do we know how the Dictat feels about us? Because this is going to be hilarious. They're neutral with us. So will they let us fly in there without a beacon? Returning a Han with medals. Clearly, clearly you're a bunch of dinosaurs. So that's fine. So let's go down here. Fearsome engine, star system, humility, gravity well. Let's, let's, let's pay a visit real quick. Intel here. Probe on the wrong side of the world. Bounty on the wrong side of the world. Okie dokie. We have 77 days to do this. Now, located roaming the fearsome engine star system. We can go with our beacon on and just try to engage it with it off. Even though they'll probably know it's us. Like, since we're neutral, hey, would be funny if that was just a gas giant instead. Um... Diable Commerce Fleet. How does Diable feel about us? They're inhospitable. Okay. Food, organics, fuel, and marines. Okay, we're not gonna bother with that. I'm here I'm here with bigger fish to fry. Um you're guarding the jump point. So it's not you. It was never you. That's an interesting fleet. Also not you. So see, we didn't totally screw you over. Personal bounty. Somebody second shift. Aeneas second shift. Which just begs the question, what happened to first shift? We can't do that bounty either. There's our, there's our mark. That is, that is pretty easy. Okay. Now there's one of two ways I can do this. I can just go and go blasting, turn off my beacon, and all that. But oh, that's right. We're gonna get we're gonna get these noises for a while. So let's see. You guys are staying close. 
Can we get can we get their attention? We got somebody's attention. So enjoy the sound of gunfire. We um have pretty high monthly expenses again, so we're back down to zero. Why are y'all trying to go into like the sun? Okay, I think this is time to engage. Alright, so any any day now, why are you running? You are a freaking jerk, you know that? Oh, okay. I had him. I had him in my sights. Okay, beacon on. Okay, so we leave this. So you're just being the dumbest ship in the world. I think that's what's going on here. Do we just do an open act of warfare at this point? I think we do. I'm tired of, I'm really tired of chasing you. All right, no one else is coming. Move in to engage. All right, let's let's just do it. Let's 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 make a let's make a fight. This is supposed to be no challenge at all, and yet it's still four stars. All right. So glimmer down, glimmer down. Like our fleet's not super big, but it is. It makes up for it in hearts. Oh, it's time. To kick ass and chew bubble gum and totally not be a uh, well. If if you look up what the Hanson Bros are doing now, it's a great example of uh, things that aren't surprising and also don't meet your heroes, or at least don't idolize your heroes. Okay, so we're gonna get this one by just passive aggressiveness, and. Um, you guys are going to get those objectives, so it's fine. And we shall hopefully... We only have to, like, disable the one ship. And that ship's up here. So let's go ahead and uh, turn you off. And uh, you guys are attempting to engage, so we'll let those guys do their thing. It kind of it kind of just gets the AI's attention. Unfortunately, we have to actually capture the damn beacon first. Can we can we not do that right now? Huh? Okay. Well, I guess we're gonna lose a beacon. That's fine. Anyway, we're here. It's like we thought you were Brighton. I'm I'm sorry. I'm not that sorry, but I'm a little sorry. So this is our first fighting spaceships. Not just space stations, as we have Bobby B this time doing Bobby B things. And delete this mark. Or we've already grabbed it. Nice. Okay. So that's what was going on here. Um, you need to engage this, but we are not going to eliminate. We're just going to engage it. Because that's, that's our target. We want our focus to be on the middle of the map. This thing's about to die, though, so... We'll let aggressiveness be aggressive. So there's the cassowary. It's big, it's beautiful, and we're gonna murder it. Shields up! Oh no. And we got another big annoying ship over here. And I am running into Ugg. He's kind of making me say Ugg. Okay, so they are doing a very good job of like defending together. I'm doing a very good job of firing my big ass cannon in your face. I think I almost got reapered in the butt by one of my friends. Now that's a uh, that's a bad party trick, but there we go. Um, did not need to fire that, but we did anyway because it's pretty. It's purple. Twist of Cain is in need of ammo, which is one thing I was a little worried about with the ship design. So see, now that we're engaging, oh my god! Look at once again. I'm looking forward to building a bunch of these things because this is literally one v oneing a friggin' cassowary. And you've seen how effective those can be if properly built out, so. 
So see, I've I've built the idiot proofish ship. I don't even need to worry about managing my shields much. We just learned that it does do friendly fire. Uh, my bad. Yeah, we have we have all of our supporting fire in here. The one thing I was worried about was the star skipper being a little slow. So we're doing all of this without even having our best ship here. That's pretty amazing. Um, get out of my way. Please. Boop! Ha 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 Do I just call this cashmere and just that whole episode is just me shouting cashmere the whole time? Enemy fleets defeated. They are without feet. Obviously, we need to uh, destroy this without having any survivors. So, double the speed up. And uh, once again, if we take a look at the video feed over here, look at who's doing a 1v1 on a ship class above him. That's awesome. Just tying down this whole thing the whole time. Like, this is why I love the glimmers. They're fast. You can equip a lot of shit on them. And just, this was a ship that could have been supporting the cassowary. And we used three or four deployment points, thanks to Tony, to keep it out of the picture here. We we actually didn't lose a ship again. They're running. Second in command can uh, have some fun with that. Let's send the boy band at them. All right, so we almost got all of them. We can recover the cassowary. You know we're recovering the cassowary. I don't care. We can't crew it right now, but we're going to recover it. And how much money did we get? Or do we actually have to return this? First off, good old Mothball. So Honor and Duty. We're going to have to change that name. That's for sure. Um, what actually, did we get any goodies on it? Not really. But this has a large ballistic turret. So this is the kind of thing that I can do ballistic range finding on. Which is another cool mod that you can actually equip with integrated targeting unit to uh, increase your... Uh, some of the range on some of your weapons, especially ones that tend to be shorter range. You can make them longer range. But yeah, Cassowary with multi-ordnance delivery systems. It's fun. Yeah, I, the last one I made was very flux issuey, but it's fine. So once again, uh, y'all, you've successfully completed the bounty, cheerleading our staff. Um, we've never been paid this quickly. One of my issues is I didn't see payment pop up at all. So is that buggy with, um, some of the stuff that's going on? Because maybe I missed it somewhere. Crew payroll, marine storage, last month's debt. Yeah. Um, I'm not seeing the cash that I was supposed to get there. Uh, so... Nothing like a good pirate deal to, um, uh, what's the word I'm looking for? Cheap out. Okay, so we have this that we can get to in 30 days, potentially. I think we're going to have to, like, run like hell and, um, transverse jump out, which I don't really want to do, but we have just successfully pissed off the entire diktat. So we're going to see here. We may have a second fight. Is that another cassowary? It is. You guys just love these things, don't you? All right, so we don't have a lot of supplies. Yeah, I guess we take you on real quick. I mean, if you really want to fight, that's fine. Um... So we have combat readiness issues for a few ships, but we're going to need to send the full contingent again. All right, so getting getting out of here is going to be a little bit of an issue. I don't think I need to worry as much about like the AI this time. So we'll um, send you up here, not not like that. Um, what are what are buttons and how can I make them work? And then we send the rest of y'all into the scrum oh cashmere it's so soft so delicate 
Actually, well, that not delicate. It's actually pretty sturdy. Um, but yeah, supplies are going to be a little bit of an issue. We'll we'll figure it out later. That is not a today problem. A today problem starts with getting the hell out before the diktat decides to squish me like a bug. Which means it's going to take some serious supplies to transverse jump out of here. And um, there's our hostile fleets. They actually managed to take this first, but I think I think this is actually going to kill what else I have. So maybe we didn't need to deploy the big old carrier when it's not going to be fast enough to uh, engage in the fight. We'll see, though. Because we've got some well-designed ships here. I've got my tiny shield waiting. Uh, ducks fly together. So here is uh that's a that's a good ship design. I am gonna try to one v something this. It seems like a bad idea. Yeah, but you know me, I'm a fan of bad ideas. All right, so missiles up, red alert, and just like that, we have done a thing probably tearing some holes in the space-time continuum while this is going on but what's it what's a little bit of temporal distortion among friends right like it's tr they are trying their best to kill me but they failed all right so here's this buddy And we're doing some chip damage to it. I see Makokolo. Once again, just the glimmers are so good. They're so fast that any of these, like, super ballistic-oriented ships are not going to be able to do as much shit with them. But there we go. You're you're also going to get cashmered. And um, don't just have a good day. Have a great day. Am I allowed to say that? I don't think I'm allowed to say that. All right. Fire in the hole. Vent in the hole, and just like that, what is the rest of my fleet doing? No, we're not defending that. Why are... no. Just go here. Um, can't actually select this, so... Everybody's defending this little point like a moron. And it is literally me and Makokolo having a hangout time. And I'm actually dying now, so I gotta watch. Gotta watch my shit. I f it turns out it is possible to fly too close to the sun. Cashmere missed. Fortunately, we do have some really nice beams. It's like Bob Barker talking about consolation prize for everybody. So me and Makokolo just uh, having a good time. Do not want to accidentally cashmere him to death, but. I went from having those shields almost all the way down to not, so I've got to watch it now. So here's everybody in here. The one ship we actually cared about, and nobody cared to fight it. But this is Wolfpack Tactics at play. Shouldn't take too long now. Also, I get the damage bonus from Wolfpack Tactics as well, which is one of the reasons I was wanting to fly a destroyer. See, there we go. It's, a, it's nice when a plan all comes together. I just need supplies and fuel and money and I need pirates to pay me. I'm going to have to check the video again. I swear I did not get paid for what I did. All right, so they're gone. Pursue them real quick. Trivial pursuits. Okay, so they're gone. Ship recovery. We could get cassowary number two. Um, might as well. It's a little bit of supplies. Obviously got to mothball you. I mean, why why get one ship when you can get two for twice the conflict? Um, did I just accidentally not do that? Crap. And I can't actually assess it again. There we go. Okay, so we're here. Our nearest jump point is completely through hostile space, so... Uh, 25 supplies to do this, but we we got we got to do it. We're at 29 money. I swear, I got gypped. 
I had a contract to do some things and um, they did not pay me. So that's the pirate way. So best of the best, one more permanent hull mod. Derelict operation, not really relevant to us anymore. I had this good talk a long time ago about what kind of things I wanted to put back on the fleet. Um, we have phase coil tuning now. So it's probably fighter uplink, although that was a little bit better when we had the big carrier here. But we're going to do it anyway. Top speed target leading for all fighters. Seems fine. Oh, look at all this leadership we have. Look at none of this combat stuff. Okay, so how many days do I have left? I don't even have the fuel to do this. So we're going to need to figure, figure out where we're getting fuel from. Oh my god, HMI actually took something. That's fun. Um, do we have much that we can sell right now? I mean, I have a bunch of guns and shit. I guess I can turn in some high-value prisoners for money, too. So let's go to Torga. That'll be, that'll be good enough for now. All right. So analyze derelict ship. Once again, we really need to look for some pirating opportunities for things like good old fashioned, not drams, but like delivering food and organics. Do we just knock them off real quick? They're delivering it to somewhere else. I think at this point I need to make sure I get my stuff in before here, but let's give it a try. Okay. It will cause a shortage of the commodities it carries. In addition, the loss would reduce accessibility of YIG by 10%. So they're trying to run. Obviously, we got to pirate them. Because, once again, part of the canon here now is that I am pissed off at the tendency of these guys to just constantly be fighting with each other. So, uh, we're, we're just going to do the pirate thing and uh, take over shit for ourselves. Alright, um, there was actually a pretty good market for uh, some of this metal, but no better than other places, so we can ditch that. Does anybody need food that's nearby? Honestly, I think I'm just gonna dump this wherever. Togar Exchange actually needs organics. Okay. So the, if uh, we're not currently fighting Tri-Tac, and we're actually favorable with Tri-Tac, that's a, that's a weird change. They just wanted to invade us, and now they want to hug us. I don't, I don't understand. All right, so faction bounty from Brighton for some dumb reason. Um, that's over here. I'm going to accept this because I'm pretty sure that we're failing this now. So that's fine. Contingency plans. It's fun. All right, so let's go in here. Transponder on. Oh, whoops. So the Persian League is now like, you turned your transponder on at the last second. That's why I should probably read the warnings. So will the Togar Exchange trade with me now? Yes, they will. Okay, cool. Hegemony hates us. Persian League hates us. Brighton hates us. That's that's the music I like to hear. Okay. Remember when we started in this place and things were so difficult? I do. So we have Pirate Corsair, Pirate Corsair. We have the Togar Exchange. They love us so much here. We can repair our ships just a little bit. Um... So now we know those bounty boards are not to be trusted at all. Um, we don't have any like AI stuff to pass over. So let's just sell this on the black market and call it a day. Sort, please. Wasp and Razor, we don't need those. So we're, gonna, we're actually just going to start having a fire sale on all the weapons. Because it's money! There we go. And then food. That's not the best buyer's price for food. You get food anyway. You all need this, that's fine. 86 for ship components, we can do better almost anywhere else. Metals for 20, that's fine. Metals are not really tradable right now, so. 90,000 money, you all have a decent price on fuel, that's all I want right now. 
And supplies. You'll have a terrible price on supplies. And it looks like nobody nearby is doing a great job supplying supplies. So that's fun. Um, all right, so let's consider the situation for a second. Like I said, I need to I need to watch the video again because I just made myself hostile for no payment. Once again, we have a we have like a completed thing, right? Colonies, hostels, insurance. I haven't even touched the insurance button for how many times here? Unexplored ruins, beacons, captures, bounties, missions. Like, I thought there was something that said, like, when I've, when I've finished things. And we actually have a contact um, at Mr. Shiny Rock here at Quarix. So let's go, let's go visit these contacts and see if they have any freaking missions that pay for us. Because that'd be nice. Freelance Administrator, Thor Titan, what can you do? He has no special skills. We can hire you for really cheap because you have no skills, but I actually don't want to do that. Okay, so you're currently being attacked. This is fine. We could try to attack the pirates here, but we want to we want to try to cultivate some friendlierness with the pirates, so we're not going to do that today. The Vic is just hanging over here, so we can fight them anytime. That's like old times. Um, Kingdom of Terra, who's still friendly here, Warwick's getting attacked by somebody. That's not very that's not very nice. Com directory, officer, aim representative, agent. Um so we have a contact. I need to figure out what I'm doing here. Um That's a no. Um, storyteller has a Vic thing, no. Unsanctioned bounty board. I wanna look at this again. Cause if this is all just for like, see there's a reward. So there's a reward listed for this one. Did I literally just do like a free bounty? Did I like get paid in like crypto that has no value? I'll, I'll need to check all that again. All right, so what are we doing here? We have some goods to trade. We're going to lose a little bit more of this money. Um, let's actually double check our contacts and see real quick here. Gag or Gog Shiny Rock. Let's develop this contact. I guess that's what I have to do. So confirm. Kind of like we've developed this contact. So let's try this again. Do you have any work for me? There we go. On the bounty docket, um, what's a more challenging target look like? You're all the way down here. Gamma, gamma Windward, 120 days. We do want to explore this area because there's some good stuff here. We've got a Tumbleweed, a Eradicator. We're going to be able to bring some other ships over here. So let's ask about the other targets real quick. Whatever you got work, whatever you got's work for me. And it takes us over to the right-hand side anyway. Let's just do this one for now. Because we can always pass by them on the way back. Um, any other work for me? Not right now. So that's fine. See, there we go. I remembered I remembered to push a button. Also, we're supposed to check Quark. I'm pretty sure they don't have the blueprints. Nope. Uh, what mysteries? What mysteries will hold, I guess? Um, there's some things we can't buy. I could buy another Avalancher. Um, hang on, I see, I sense an opportunity for profit, so, best places to sell, oh, that's not, Quarric has pretty decent, best places to buy, open market, I mean, it's not a ton, 525 that shit's expensive but anything we can do to make just a little bit of scratch there we go we don't really need that 
This is this is a shitty sale, so we're not gonna do that. And then nobody has good supplies, that's fine. And then we just trade again before the end of the month. Relationship with Tritac reduced, caused by black market trade. Well, I'm glad y'all still like us so much because I'm gonna black market trade with you some more. Ready? Y'all still need these, so 833, that's pretty good. Um, Isaiah Post from HMI, that's selling directly to our enemies. That's fine, because we need the cash. All right. Like HMI, I think we're actually hostile with anyway, so that's not right for me. I have to, I, I can't just fight everybody I, and, it's, and sell weapons to everybody. That's part of the problem I'm trying to solve. But we have a bunch of shit here. A Snaggletooth frigate. That's not worth, that's not worth the story point, but it's nice to see. And then look where we started, Rock Piper Perch, back in the olden times. All right, so open the comm directory again. Uh, Francis, do you have any work for me? You just want me to pay for your Nana Forge shit again. Well, I got one of those at home now, dude. All right. Dockside bar, CEO. You're on the no service list. I have nothing to discuss with you. Well, that's fun. I'm just, are you suspicious with us? Oh, Reuter Union, we used to be buds. All right, so you're swole. That was a hilarious picture. We we definitely can't do that bounty. Putting into a crook. This has this has a reward. Has no risk whatsoever. Somewhere in the core worlds, hosted by the hegemony. We can definitely do this for some money. What's a high value bounty, Gal Paladin? This has a reward. This is an extreme danger for some pretty obvious reason, I bet. A worse evil may have been found. This is also an extreme danger and an extreme price and a very angry face on the Goem class totem assassin. Um, there can only be one, the Highlander show. Um, 35,000. That's, um, so I may have actually picked the only bounty with no, no reward. All right. So core worlds here. You, you'll need to disable the target flagship, um, personal potential information fleet may contain up to these things. It's supposed to buy an unknown party. So we don't know where this is. We're going to accept it anyway, just because hope springs eternal, I guess. Um, trade. Y'all used to have good prices, and you still have good prices, but since y'all are so friendly with me, we'll do it like this. Heavy armaments. Tritac still needs a little bit of this, so that's fine. Um, It'll actually work out pretty well. All right, so 220, and I think that f totally fulfills Trogar's demands. So I have to pay a little bit of a tariff price for it, but it's fine. So get me out of here. Um, why are you wanting to scan me? Bye bye So I think we just got... Um, wrecked a little bit here because they really didn't like our uh, black market trading so that's okay i didn't have the option to like disengage but we need we need this money and han is getting attacked by the ludic church this is this is going crazy up in here all right repair ships that's fine your supply prices suck um not as good as the flip as it was, but we're going to do it anyway because I need the money. And it's kind of funny. We're back just to where we were before. That's fine. We're gaining valuable experience. Where's a good place to buy this stuff, by the way? Where's a, where's a place that doesn't hate us? It's a good place to buy, I guess, is my better question. But yeah, that's going to do it for this one. This is uh, Asher with more Star Sector. 
We do have some other accepted missions right here. Um, hundred and some days. That one's gone. We have a panther bounty over here that we can complete as well. So we do want to go east. Uh, located in an asteroid belt in the system with a giant primary star in the Sesson constellation. Well, shit. That's like all of them. I'll have to I'll have to figure this out. Figure out how I want to do this. If I even want to do this. Because we do have 170 waiting for us kind of in this direction. And then this. There may be there may be more profit here. I said 170. It's not 170. Um I hope I don't have to return back to you in order to get that payment too. So we'll um we'll figure it out. Like I said, there's there's only so many giant stars to choose from. Asteroid belt and a system with a giant primary star. I'll do that looking off camera. That's it for now. This is Asher. Thanks for watching. I uh, hope you enjoyed it. We have a bunch of shit built. Our custom production's done, except for one ship. So when we get back home, we will have a lot of new ships to add to this fleet. And honestly, this fleet's doing pretty awesome so far. Like if we look at the uh, combat data, wherever it is, I can't find my things anymore. Anyway, um, combat results. Yeah, like the wingless pigeon, obviously, Project Kashmir is just amazing. Um, but look at this, like Tony. Tony over here just going 1v1 with a graviton beam and a sharpshooter is amazing. Electronic Donic doing all this shit. Everybody's contributing, and I love that even the small ships are getting in on it. That's that's exactly what I wanted and was kind of getting away from. So good riddance to the last fleet. Thanks for watching. Hope you enjoyed it. We are going to probably lose some more crew soon because... Well, we, we, we've mostly paid our unpaid debt. That's good. So we'll actually be able to cover. Yay! We're back to financial stability enough thanks for watching vote project cashmere for something i don't know what and i'll see you next time take care